Welcome to this new tutorial. This will be an improved video of a baby sweater. This type of sweater I needed a few years ago. It's for newborn up to 3 months. It's needed with thin thread. I use Omega Cree thread that is yarn and I use a hook according to this material. The measures that you have to be guided is the square that we are going to start for the back has 18 centimeters which is this square here of high points and even here after we do three turns of end side and side and so we have the measure of 24 centimeters this kind of sweater has been needed a lot now we are gonna make a pro video and I will do it with a thicker yarn so that you can be guided with the measure of a different yarn and a thicker hook always according to the yarn that we are using in this case it will be the premier yarn named Primo and here it has a recommendation that says anti-peeling each skin is 100 grams Now we will start working our baby sweater. I start making one chain. We pull and this chain is not gonna be counted. And now we work 44 chains. Once I finish them, I will clean with three chains to form the first hike point. Lace it. And in the chain number five, we make a hike point. Lace it and continue in each of the chains needing a hike point. And in total we have to stay 44 hike points. Once we have 44 hike points and we turn the garment and on each hike point we will work another hike point. In total I will put 11 laps hike. Already have my back piece with the 11 laps finished and I will count from the shore 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and 14 and here we will pull the separator and we will do the same on the other shore 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and 14 
this is going to be for the shoulder part. We are going to work high points up to here, where the separator is and going up. And we are going to make a total of 11 laps. We have to be exactly the same at the time of folding it. We have to stay the same with the measure and the same thing we do on the other side joining our yarn and going around until 11 laps. Here I start 3 chains, we turn in any case you are going to count them, for example this one here will be lap number 12. In total it will have to be 22 laps and here we come. We claim here with 3 chains and we turn the garment. The size of our piece is 25 cm, the same measure as towards the top. These are the parts of the shoulders and we will start. This sweater is a little larger compared to the other that I showed you at the beginning of the video. That was needed with the same amount of stitches but with a thicker thread. Now we begin. We see that we already have our thread and we close our turn. And here at the moment when I cut the charm in this part, we had the separator. Here I join my thread and began to knit like this and then we will stay on this side. And I start here in this corner, I make 3 chains and at the same point I'm gonna need a hike point, a chain, lace it at the same point, 2 hike points and we will start to work the fence, now lace it, we will leave this row of stitches hike, this row, but where we have this onion here is where we are gonna put the hook to make the next fan a chain and two hack points tie it again we leave this space here and we put the hook in the next one a chain and two hack points here it's opening a little but at the end of this is gonna be removed in total we have one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 with which we are gonna to do here in the corner there are two hike points and in the corner we are gonna put two separation points and now lace it and at these hike points we will leave three and at number four we make the fan one, two, three and four and here we put two separation chains, lace it, and again we count, one, two, three, and in number four I need the fan, two high stitches and two chains, one and two, 
Now, here at the end, we will have two hike stitches, lace it, because here in the last we make the range, two hike stitches, two chains, and two hike points. We will go up working this as we did at the beginning. Well, reaching the corner we will do it again on the shoulder part we will leave. One, two, three, and at number four we need a fan, a separation chain and two hike points. Again lace it, one, two, three, and in number four we are gonna see how many fans we are gonna have left. Here at the end, one, two, three, and one hike point will be left over because we are gonna have only two fans and from the corner. Lace it, and here we are gonna leave one, two, three, four, and in the number five, that is the one of the corner, we are gonna make the other fan. To the corner fan we are gonna put two separation chains, lace it, and here we repeat what we work on this side again, leaving an onion that will be a row, the second row, and here in this onion I make the next fan, a separation chain and two hike points. Now we are gonna get here, which is in the curve, we are gonna make a loop and in this curve here we are gonna put our hook and make a fan. Two, one chain and two hike points. Loop. We need one, two and three. Loop and we will join it like this. One, two, three and in number four we make the fan. One, two, three, and four. Here we will still have one more point and we will put this corner on the turn where the curve is gonna make the fan. A chain, we will clip and finish our lap. We close the lap with a slip point. And with a slip point we go to the center of the fan. We clip with three chains. I make one hike point one chain, loop, two hike points, one chain, 
two hack points, one chain, and two hack points. This will be done in all corners and where we have a fan, the fan is repeated. With one chain and two hack points, this increase will be put in the corner, in the two that we have in the bottom, here in this corner and at the end in this one. We close the lap with a slip stitch. I closed lap number 2 with a sliding point and with a sliding point we went to the first space. Here it will be very simple. I make 3 chains and 2 hike points. 2 chains and 3 hike points. Loop. We make 3 hike points, 2 chains and 3 hike points. Lace it. In the next space I repeat the same. This is gonna be needed in every corner where we need. And this is gonna be needed in all the corners where we have the increases and in the simple fans a hike point will be increased. Here I have two, three, a chain and three hike points. I start what will be our turn number 4. I will go to the center of the fan with a slip stitch and I will re a fan in each of the fans of the previous round. 3 high stitches, 2 chains and 3 high stitches. In this round of fans is where we are gonna make the separation of slips. 1, 2, 3 and 4. 4 laps we have and we are gonna put here where we are gonna separate right now that we pass with a sliding point and here we have the increases that are one two and three fans we see in the back and put our separator for the moment i will put it here we close the turn we pass with slip it point 
to the center of the fan and I clip with three chains and I need two hike points, two chains and three hike points. Here we have our separator. Loop we make one, two, three and here I put a chain. Three hike points, loop, we go to the next band, we remove the separator and here we will continue all the way around. Now we have the center part here, we are gonna close our coat, here we make one chain where I have to increase I am in the center fan. I made a chain, lace it and we are gonna take the center fan of this side, nearing what same. You can put three chains, in the other side I made three chains, to this I will reduce a little more with a chain since our thread is thicker. Now here I will continue until you reach this fan and here we close our lap with a slip stitch and as in each lap we will pass to the center of our fan as well. Here I am on lap 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. I'm gonna need until lap number 7 working equally or fan with 3 high stitches. 1 chain and 3 high stitches. Loop. We go to the next fan and here I am not putting separation lap. I'm gonna make this round which is 6 and 7 starting with lap number 8. Here I'm gonna put a separation chain and until I finish the length of the sweater. I start lap number 8. From here I will put a separation chain and on the fan we continue knitting with a 3 high stitches. 1 chain and 3 high stitches. 1 separation chain, loop and we continue knitting fans. Here I put a chain. If you want to have your longest sweater, you can add up two chains, also depending on your yarn. If your yarn is thin like the other, here I put a chain too. If you want to put two chains, it's the pleasure of you depending on the flag you want.
In total, with the lace that I'm gonna do, it will be 16 laps. On lap number 14 and number 15, I have put two separation chains. By the way, from this round, I use hook number 4. You can decide if you want your sweater to be wider from the bottom. Now we make the shirt, I make three chains, one chain to separate, one hike point, one chain, one hike point, one chain, in total need six hike points, one chain, one hike point, one, two, three, four, five, six, I take a strand and this is kneaded into each of the fans. Here I made different from the smaller sweater. Since I finished the edge with simple fans, you can decide how you want to put the bottom. See how the size of our garment changes when using a thicker thread with a thicker hook. The appropriate hook to the thread we are using. This thread is thin, here I have the size of our sweater. We will finish the part of down and start the slips. We close the lap with a slip stitch and we are gonna leave a piece of thread and cut. So far I have I use this. This is the second stain. I still don't finish the 200 grams, now I will make the slip. But now I want that you see the first sweater that I made 3 years ago with Omega Chris thread. This is the sweater, just see the difference in size. It has the same amount of chains as the blue one, but what makes it smaller is our thread. This is where we are gonna start the slip. We are gonna use the same hook that I used to work the top part. I only use the number 4 hook to give leg to the bottom part. Here I leave you below how much you measure of this film to this. If you have a t-shirt of your baby, you can measure from this part up to here of your shirt and that is gonna be the amount of chains that you make and make the picture we made. And then you go up working the part of the shoulders that are this and so you take your measure.
I start needing the slips. I will use the same hook that I used at the beginning, it's three and a half of aluminium, and now the fans will go with two high stitches, one chain and two high stitches. Here I have two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve fans. In this fan below, we will join our thread, leaving some thread to hide it. We make half a point, one and two. And here we will be left as three chains, then now one hike point, one chain, two hike points, and here we will do this. Take the thread, put our hook in this space, go out to the space, we have from this other side that is the same, it's exactly the same. We will put our hook, we take out our strand and we make one hike point of one and two punches. So loop. I put hook in the next fan, I make two hike points, one chain and two hike points. When I finish this whole round, we will close here with a slip point. We pass to the center of the fan and make a high point that we will be taking here in the center of this. And we are gonna put the hook here and we work another high point. As in the sweater that I have here, the little one, I will show you, this sweater was needed in relief but you are gonna need by putting the hook only in the point and you decide the length. In total in the part up here are 16 laps and you decide the length of the lip and return when we go to work the spring. I close with a slip stitch and here I finish the length of the slip and now we are gonna work on the spring that is the first of our sweater. We put our hook at the bottom and make a half point and three chains and this will be in relief from the front. From behind we take the next hike point and in front we leave this row of hike points and now it corresponds from behind. In front, from behind, in front and I finish the turn. I close the turn, start with the point in front and we finish with the point behind. Here I will close it in the third chain and close with a slip point and repeat as we did at the beginning of the turn. So that is in front of us, we put the hook and make a half a point. Three chains and continues in each point taking it the same as in the previous round in front behind and so on until we finish and this close the laps.
I think that for the first it will be about three or four turns, unless they want it to be longer. Once finished our sleep, we will work the neck. So that it's not very low cut because the little neck we have to turn it. We are gonna make it a turn and we will put for example in this one that is so small we can put a bottom, the little neck turn around, everything I did on the right side. Here the last fans I put left on the front but once I turn the neck it looks as if the view is inside. Here you can also put a ribbon or a bow. Now we are gonna make a small change to this one. We are gonna make the edge that we put here on the bottom and we are gonna start doing it on the reverse side. We take our thread in any of our fans and we are gonna leave a part of the thread outside to hide it. I make half a point, three chains, one, two, three, a chain to separate, loop and we need a hike point a chain until we have 6 hike points. Here I have the 6 hike points. Now in this space we join with a half a point, loop, and I make the next fan. We are gonna have these waves. Now, here in the last fan that I made, we make a half point, loop, where these two fans are in the center where I made the separation chain, I will put 3 hike points, 2 and 3. In this space we join with a half point and we continue to make the waves with a hike point, a chain and a hike point and so on until we finish the whole shore. Finally, I close the loop, remember to lift the separation chain and close on the third chain with a slip stitch. Cut our thread and hide it very well. I need to knit a second slip and I finished 200 grams. The thick yarn brings less meters and it will last less for jobs. Look how pretty. 
The neck is very different from the one I showed you from the small sweater. Let's hide the thread very well and cut.